Hello everyone, this is Cinema 77, horror and cult film lover. I'm back with another movie review. This is one of those movies that um, I wanted to redo over again. I had done a review for this when I first started my channel, but um, turned out I wasn't really happy with the with the way it was reviewed, and I think I could do it better. And um, we tackled a lot of subjects on this show. We've, ta we've talked about, um, um, basically we talked about pedophilia, uh, relationships we talked about um what else you know we've you know i did the island of death review that has incest in it um all kinds of different relationships we talked about bestiality and necrophilia and everything else now today we're gonna be reviewing jess franco's movie the demons came out in 1973 and uh the big thing we're gonna be talking about now is we're gonna be talking about very very naughty nuns yeah that's right we're talking about nun exploitation so um yeah if you know if you're easily offended by this kind of thing or if you're extremely religious yeah you're probably really not going to want to watch this video um because yeah this gets pretty graphic here so yeah it's going to be kind of something more like this so anyway though <laughs> anyway let's go ahead we'll get started um yeah, I do, uh, hang on a second. So, I do like this movie, and um, I think, I know when it comes to Jess Franco, I know like a lot of people, um, they usually kind of prefer his more like mainstream stuff. They they prefer his stuff like uh, Bloody Moon, that's a definitely a good example, or, uh, you know, his movie Cannibals or something like that, or, you know, he made the Fu Manchu movies or something like that. Um, I have to admit, when it comes to Jess Franco, I really like his erotic horror stuff more. And, I mean, I actually like this movie. I know even on the um, on the review here, even Franco himself said he wasn't very happy with the movie. He wrote and directed it. And, uh, like, uh, Female Vampire, um, I reviewed that movie. It's still up on my channel. Um, I mean, come on. The idea of a vampire, that how she gets the blood from her victims, <laughs> she gets it through oral sex. You know, so it's like to drink the blood of a man, she, you know, basically gives him a blowjob or to get the blood of a woman, she basically, you know, uh, gives her oral sex, you know, so, so it's like, it's that kind of stuff, you know, it's that kind of, you know, kinky, weird stuff that Jess Franco did that I have to admit that I'm kind of more of a fan of. And this movie is definitely uh, on the top of my list of favorite Jess Franco movies. So our movie, basically, it starts off, we have these, um, it takes place in the olden days where, uh, you know, women, you know, people were being accused of witchcraft and stuff, and, and if they were found guilty of witchcraft, you know, they would be tortured, and they would be, as you see there, somebody being tortured, but, um, yeah, they would, uh, you know, they would be accused of witchcraft and stuff, and they would be burned, or they would be tortured, or killed, or, you know, they would be tested to find out, so... You have this uh, queen, she's ruler, but she's got like this very strong sexual appetite and she's always engaging in all these kind of sexual things and, and uh, you know, her, uh, you know, kind of like the, the, the man who's like the head of torturing people, she's, you know, having a sexual relationship with him even though she's married to the, basically the king, the ruler. And, um, and yeah, like even at one point she, you know, she's, one of her kinks is she likes it, he takes like a, like a, whip or a cat of nine tails and starts whipping her with it and you know just you know they're into all kinds of kinky shit but you know they're constantly like going around you know preaching about how you know they're so moral and they're so ethical and all this other kind of stuff and and pretty much just anybody who even looks at them funny is pretty much going to be uh you know they're going to be oh they're evil and they're witches and they deserve to be killed and things like that so we have this convent where we have these two sisters who were raised by the convent. And uh, one of the sisters, the mother superior, is uh, um, she's really just, you know, she doesn't know what to do with this girl. She's constantly praying, you know, asking about her because apparently this girl here, she likes to masturbate, which, as you can see there, that's what she's doing there. And the mother superior goes in and she sees her doing this and she sees her pleasing herself and things like that. And, uh, so yeah, the mother superior, but what ends up happening is, is the mother superior is watching this and, you know, then she'll go and she'll, you know, 
um, she'll pray to the father asking him what to do about the whole situation you know but uh, also too then the mother superior she'll go and well, she'll go and basically she'll go to her room and she'll after watching her she'll go and she'll start masturbating herself so and yes i mean the nudity is extreme in this movie i mean i'm talking close-ups um so yeah uh pretty blatant nudity and things like that so also if you um um yeah if you're not into nudity and stuff yeah you don't want to be away from this so but anyway so the uh you know this queen and her people they come to this convent and they're they kind of hear about these two sisters and they end up they go to this convent and they ask them you know like we need to test these girls to make sure you know which one is a um i'm sorry i'm looking up a picture here you know they're uh going to this convent so they're checking these girls and everything else and then like this one girl she she really likes you know because she's basically the one that they hear like she's always like playing with herself and so they decide they want to take her and they're going to go ahead and and torture her and everything get her to confess that she's into witchcraft and things like that but they got the one sister who's played by Britt nichols um she's done a lot of these kind of sex exploitation movies in the past and things like that so she's basically she's the pure one she's the one who's like you know always you know, being a good girl, doing the right thing, and all this other kind of stuff. Well, at one point, it's kind of a funny scene. It's a sexual scene, but we have the scene here where, you know, she's... Sorry, try to get that where you can see it. She's in her room, and this man who shows up in these red tights, he looks like something out of a Robin Hood movie. But he comes up and he says that he's the devil, and, he, and he's going to take her. And once he takes her, she will basically be possessed by the devil and things like that. And, uh, so, yeah, so they end up having this, you know, explicit sex scene and everything else. Sorry, this isn't part of the movie. I just thought maybe, you know, people might actually like to see this. Call me crazy. Anyway, getting back to the movie. So, now the girl, she's, you know, she has sex with the devil. It's supposed to be the devil. And, uh, the next morning, the mother superior comes in and she checks on her and sees that she's naked and... You know, she's laying in bed naked and stuff like that. And the mother superior is, um, you know, getting really upset with her. It's like, why are you laying around naked? You're not supposed to be doing that. And, you know, it's like what you're doing is vile and everything else. And so the, um, you know, the girl starts seducing the mother superior. She's all like, you know, you talk all this stuff about, you know, what's, you know, you know, what's good and moral and all this other kind of stuff. But deep down, you're no better than the rest of us. And. You know, it's like, I know that you, you know, you play with yourself, too, and you do all this other kind of stuff. And she's like, I know you lust after us and everything else, and, and you get off on us and everything else. And so they end up having this, you know, girl-on-girl -girl sex scene and everything else. And uh, when they get done, you know, it's an interesting thing. I actually think it's kind of an interesting idea. Even if Franco didn't like the movie itself, you know, I thought that was an interesting idea, that this woman is now possessed by the devil or possessed by a demon or something like that so that anybody she has sex with doesn't matter if it's man or woman you know anybody she has sex with pretty much um they will you know they will uh you know they will die a gruesome death if they have sex with her <clears throat> so meanwhile yeah the uh so meanwhile the uh other sister she's taken to the castle and everything and so they're torturing her they're trying to get her to admit that you know, she is into witchcraft and Satanism and all this, and she's in league with the devil and all this stuff. And, um, you know, of course she's, no, no, I'm not, no, I'm not, and this and that. And, um, so finally, at one point, they're able, she's able to escape and with the help of her, uh, the queen's torturer and stuff. And so, because he's falling in love with her, and so she gets away and everything, and she finds, you know, um, this village, and she finds, like, a farm, and the farmer takes her in, and you know, and he, t you know, he's taking care of her and making sure that she gets, you know, fed and all this other kind of stuff. Well, eventually they're captured and, and the torturer, you know, it's like the guy is pretty much, you know, he's killed. And, and uh, so the torturer, you know, he's wanting to be with her and, you know, it tells her how he's in love with her and all this other kind of stuff. So, so anyway, going back to the, uh, the sister, you know, after, you know, after she has sex with the devil, then she has sex with the mother superior. The mother superior realizes now that she's damned 
because she had sex with this woman who had sex with the devil. So she jumps off the, you know, in the monastery or whatever it is, she jumps off, you know, the balcony and leaps to her death where she's dead. So then pretty much, you know, she makes her break for it. She escapes and everything else. And, uh, you know, she catches up, you know, um, she meets up with these people and basically they're kind of like revolting against the queen and stuff about what she's doing and everything. And so, um, she decides she's going to go in and she's going to seduce this queen. And so, you know, they go in and they're talking and everything else. And, and at first she's kind of putting on an act, like, you know, trying to make it out like she doesn't know who, you know, this girl is or anything like that. So, but, uh, yeah, they're having this dinner and everything else. And, um, so the queen, you know, and her, they go into this room, they're a little bit drunk and everything else. And they start talking about how, uh, they're attracted to each other and that they want to have sex with each other and stuff like that. And, and, um, it's actually, you know, even though the sex scenes in this movie are simulated, I've actually seen, you know, movies with hardcore, uh, sexuality in it that were not done near as well as this is. I will say if anything else, Franco is very good at directing erotic film scenes. He's very good at it. He, you know, he knows how to, he knows a good angles to pick. He knows, you know, the way to do good lighting and all this other kind of stuff. So, yeah, I mean, Franco does know how to shoot eroticism. I will give him that. And I think that's why, honestly, I tend to prefer his erotic films a lot more than I prefer his mainstream films. But, um, so anyway, to, so she goes in, she has sex with this queen and everything. And then, uh, so they're all like, you know, she explains to her like, well, you and I, we just had sex. And so now, you know, you're, you know, you're going to die a gruesome death. And um, it's not really that gruesome because, you know, <clears throat> all they do is just basically turn into skeletons and they're dead. So. And uh, <clears throat> so basically now everybody's trying to break out and, you know, they're trying to, you know, uh, even the king gets in on it because he knows that his wife has been cheating and, you know, she's been, you know, wrongly accusing people of uh, witchcraft and Satanism and things like that. And they and that basically they've just been torturing and killing people for their own amusement and things like that. But, um, yeah, it's all kind of going down and, and things are getting bad and everything else. But they get away and, um, you know, I'm sorry, I'll go ahead and uh, spoilers. Spoilers right now. I'll go ahead and say spoilers. <clears throat> so anyway, so they get to the end of the movie and Britt Nichols character, she decides that, uh, you know, she hates this guy who's the, you know, the torturer and stuff like that even though he's in love with her sister and, you know, they're romantically involved and stuff like that. Um, she decides she's going to go ahead and she's going to seduce him and kill him because of, you know, all the lives that he's taken and all the people that he's killed and everything else. So, you know, yeah, she goes in, she has sex with him and same thing, you know, she, she has sex with him and kisses him and stuff like that. And then, you know, she tells him that, you know, you're going to basically die. And, and the same thing too is like, you know, that, um, you know, that, uh, yeah, you know, anybody who has sex with me, you know, because I'm in league with the devil and stuff like that, you know, so anybody who has sex with me, they're going to die a gruesome death. And, uh, so then, you know, her sister, you know, they're sitting there talking and she tells her sister, sorry, um, allergies this morning. But anyway, though, so she talks to her sister and, uh, she's telling her like, you know, yeah, now, um, I'm going to, you know, basically you're going to be you know, the one in league with the devil now because they're going to kill me and all this stuff. And, um, so I know this has nothing to do with the movie. I just thought it'd be, you know, something for everybody to look at. But, um, so she's talking about like, yeah, yeah, they're going to kill me and all this stuff. And, you know, it's like, you need to carry on. And so, you know, basically she transferred the devil's soul into her sister <clears throat> and Britt Nichols character. She's caught and you know, she sensed the death and pretty much, you know, she's burned as a witch pretty much the same way that their mother was. And, and uh, so but then you got the sister who now the sister is in league with the devil pretty much. And so, you know, she's going to carry on and all this stuff. And she's going to basically she's going to go and, and get revenge against these people that are crusading against witches and, you know, falsely accusing people of witchcraft and being in league with the devil and stuff like that. She's basically going to go and make sure that they get their just desserts and things like that. So, and that's pretty much where the movie ends. Um, the thing was like this movie pretty much, um, in the interview, Jess Franco said that, um, 
the reason they asked him to make this movie was because Ken Russell's movie, The Devils, came out and it was very controversial. It was very, <clears throat> sorry, it was very extreme. It was very controversial. And they wanted a movie similar to that. And so they went to Jess Franco and asked him, you know, hey, can you write and direct something? And, you know, something in the vein of that, which is basically kind of non-sploitation and things like so Jess Franco did, and he made this movie, even though he says he's not proud of it. I still think it's, I enjoy this movie. I think it's actually fun and entertaining. It's one of Franco's better movies. Um, the women in the movie are incredibly beautiful. You know, there's plenty of, I mean, if you want nudity, this movie's going to have it in spades. You got plenty of it. Um, you know, I'm actually kind of surprised, though. This movie runs almost two hours long. It is lengthy. So there are there's probably going to be a couple of times you're going to be hitting the fast forward button on your remote. But anyway, though, still. <clears throat> yeah. Um, as a matter of fact, like he said that uh, the funny thing was, was that uh, when he went to go make this movie, um, everybody thought that he was kind of like, you know, this immoral guy, Satan worshiper, things like that. But he was the one who had to, you know, he was saying, like, you know, I'm the one who had to teach them the right way, like when when a nun or. A priest or somebody crosses himself, you know, as I had to teach them the right way to do it and things like that, um, you know, because I, I was brought up Catholic and everything else. And so, and, um, but yeah, he said that the, you know, the production was fast, it was smooth sailing, and, um, you know, it's like the sex was simulated, <clears throat> never had any problems with any of the actors or actresses or anything like that. They were all, you know, they were all okay with it, doing whatever they had to do and stuff like that. So, but um, overall, I definitely like this is this is one of those movies. If you really want something naughty and, um, you know, if you are into the idea of, you know, nuns doing kinky stuff, then, yeah, you're really going to like this movie. Um, if you're very, you know, if you're very religious, you're very easily offended. Yeah, you pretty much really want to steer clear of this. You're not going to like this. Um, but, you know, some parts of it, you know, as with a lot of Jess Franco movies, there are parts of this movie that are unintentionally funny. Um, like I said, just the idea, like when the devil shows up, you know, and it's this this guy in red tights and stuff like that. But um, you know, so I mean, that happens a lot of Jess Franco movies. Though there are parts of the movie like the dialogue is silly, or you know, um, like Bloody Moon. There are many scenes in Bloody Moon where the dialogue is actually very, very silly, very unintentionally funny, and some parts of it are here too. But um, but overall, it's like, I honestly think that, you know, like after watching this and watching Female Vampire, I honestly do think that uh, Jess Franco, he's, you know, he's really better at directing erotica than he was, you know, mainstream movies. I mean, I hate to say it, but like his Fu Manchu movie that he directed, I mean, granted, he got Christopher Lee, so kudos to him for that. But, you know, I mean, watch the episode on Mystery Science Theater. I mean, they're, Joel and the boss are literally crying the entire time because of how the movie is, but. But anyway, though, yeah, this is, you know, if you're a Jess Franco fan, if you want something really, um, you know, if you want a movie with a lot of nudity, you want something that's that kind of feels really taboo and kind of feels naughty, you want something that could really go well within your, you know, in your guilty pleasure collection of movies that you like to watch, I definitely recommend Jess Franco's The Demons. This movie's, this movie's awesome. I mean, just the visuals alone, you know, it's like the women are gorgeous and everything else. Yeah, I mean, I really do. I like this movie. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, of course, you know, it fits right in, you know, like you go back to, <clears throat> sorry, you go back to the 1970s, you know, these movies were running rampant. You had The Devils, you had movies like this, and everything. you had all these occult movies and witchcraft movies and Satanist movies and all this other kind of stuff. So, yeah, you had a bunch of these, and this was, you know, pretty much one of the, not, not a trendsetter, but one of them. But, um, yeah, kind of give you an idea that, uh, these movies, you know, um, you know, they have, there was a lot of nudity in there. There was a lot of sex. Um, these movies always kind of had, I guess, down endings, you know, endings where it always kind of seemed like the devil wins at the end. But, um, so yeah, like I said, if you're into those kind of movies, I say definitely, you know, you really do need to check out the demons. I'm glad that I did. And, you know, this is this. And like I said, this and female vampires probably have to be female vampire. Sorry has to be probably my two most favorite Jess Franco movies. I still need to I still need to keep going though. I still got plenty of more Jess Franco movies I need to check out. So but anyway that's it. Um I ran on too long. As always, if anybody took the time to watch this, I thank you for doing it. And I appreciate you for doing it. Um I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did please like and subscribe. I do weekly videos. I do movie reviews 
doing shelf by shelf on my movie library and do haul videos and stuff like that. <clears throat> I want to start doing some theme weeks and everything. I'll get into more of that later. But uh, yeah, so um, again, thank you very much for watching. Please take care. Have a good night. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.